Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. The last time we left you, we were in a dire state. We hadn't succeeded in what one had aimed to do. But I thought, at least, that my efforts were valiant, valid efforts. Unfortunately, there seemed to be a large base of people that disagreed with that idea. And unfortunately, they didn't disagree so in a, I'm afraid that the concept of the level is entirely different, kind of way, they disagreed in a kind of very disagreeable way, and just frankly, a kind of quite rude way, and unfortunately I think that some of you did yourself a disservice by how you reacted to it, rather than perhaps being nice and kind. A lot of people just seemed to get very angry about the fact that I'd misunderstood a level mechanic. I mean, this video I was leaving a section where the boss HP I hadn't shown, and actually it had gone really rather well. I I thought, I got down to 29% boss HP, I'm nearly there, I thought. People will be glad when I show them that, but evidently not. But there's a lot nicer ways to react to it than to have a go like that, so I hope that those who did react in that way can consider in future to perhaps be nicer about the way that they provide feedback, and also have a little bit of humility. How many of those people do we really think worked that mechanic out for themselves and didn't find it out when watching a tutorial? Anyway, I still had some unfinished business from the last episode. I don't want to waste any more items, so I'm doing this one more time, but I'm going to act like I am a CPU, but a slightly more astute CPU who doesn't put out Skelecats because it doesn't know better. Oh, that was good. That was very nice. We got a disturb of an attack, and then we got a knockback off of it. And is that a tiny chance to get some damage in with two Marys at once? Oh, yes, it is. Another knockback. That is fantastic. Although it didn't last particularly long, that was the kind of brilliant moment that we need more of. Okay, we're into bigger damage phase. You sometimes get caught out as he gets knocked back slightly. That's the problem with Sniper Cat, is that then my Manic Lion timings go awry and that puts me at risk every time. But would I rather have the Sniper Cat in? I think so. Mad. Absolutely mad. That's actually worse. After that run, I thought to myself what I would need to change to be able to make it a more CPU friendly strat, because as you know, I do quite like to use a CPU. Takes the weight off your shoulders and makes the battle a little bit easier when done well, and Skelecat was really what was stopping me from being able to do that. So I looked for a new combo and put that together. But by that time, the event had ended, and so by the time I wished to try it again, it was within a stream, in which I wanted to reconcile my eventual quest to actually make this work with the CPU with people's advice for how to actually do it in a kind of proficient way. Some could quite arguably say that the two didn't go especially well together, but it was something I wanted to make happen, because a CPU felt to me at least like the place to go, and even if it wasn't the best place to go, seems like the place that would get me to where I wanted to go. This was what I was going to try. It was actually a change of combo to allow for a more easy CPU version of the strat. It has one expensive unit which has a long recharge time and that's the best sort of compromise for research up that I could find. And so I'll just have to wait for it to spam that and then everything else should be alright as long as Kite Cat's recharge isn't too bad. I am going to try it as was created, otherwise it's a little bit unfair, and then we can develop it according to what people have suggested. I know you could class that as a waste of items, but I've got got enough to do a one-off, you know what I mean? We'll put out Tricks to him a Yuri, which is not for the strat, it's for the combo. So the CPU is now on, and it might be, I guess, an interesting bonus to see how Tricks to him a Yuri does. So go on, Tricks to him a Yuri. You, you, okay, right. <laughs> The rest of it, I'm leaving it up to the CPU to do. Saber is there because it's like immune to all sorts of stuff and I didn't want anything that was too expensive and oh, I can immediately see Kite Cat's recharge time is not optimal. So that might be the issue behind all of this. The CPU isn't going to have enough monies to operate as efficiently as I'd like it to and I think ultimately that means that we will lose very quickly. <laughs> have 
really disappointed me there, CPU. You can do much better than that. Using waves to get rid of the peons. Well, it's been suggested already, get rid of all of your meat shields. Okay, so light could do that, but that would mean we'd have to get rid of Soran Cat as well. And that's part of the combo, that's the only reason that that's there. Is Manic Lion a stay or a boo? What are we saying on Manic Lion? Stay, stay, boo, stay, stay, boo, stay, stay, both. Keep, stay, stay. I think stay wins. Yeah, democratic stay for Manic Lion. Reggit, why are you not using Bullet Train Cat? Because I don't have it. That would be my reason. Understandably, people will say, oh, don't use the CPU because, you know, it's a terrible idea and you've shown to yourself that it doesn't work. And Chase has said, this level requires timings. The CPU is about as much used as a chocolate teapot. Yes, Jace, but if the level requires timing, that means that I am about as useful as a chocolate teapot in doing the level as well. Is Maglev 40? It is. There you go. Hyper Max Maglev. Not ultra maxing anything until I'm in desperate need of extra levels in order to beat a level. And I think this one, although difficult, we will be able to beat it without ultra maxing anything. Just copy Lucas as usual. You see, that makes no sense as a comment because I, I don't actually do that. I do things all by myself, as you might be able to tell from the fact that I lose. Zamboni was another thing that was apparently a good idea. Zamboni gets one-shotted. Yeah, you see exactly. This was a thing. When I was actually making the video, I thought about putting Zamboni in. But I looked up the stats on the wiki, and I found out that in the attack up state, it will die immediately. Because old chappy, I found he does 100,000 damage to the base. Zamboni... Level 30, 68,000 health I think it was, so nowhere near what we need. It's important to note that at this point it would have been both wise and very much time-saving to just go without a CPU and just go straight forward with absolutely no meat shields at all. But the thing was, it was certainly disheartening after trying all of that and developing the strategy to get better and better that I'd understood the level in a way that was fundamentally unhelpful to being able to beat it. Combining the reception people had had to me trying my hardest with the level and the fact that I thought it was a perfectly fine way to go about it and was disappointed that it was not meant that I wanted to get some semblance of what I'd been trying to be part of the winning formula for that level. And the CPU seemed like the most likely to be able to work for that. I wanted to see if I could beat it with something as close as possible to what I've been trying to beat it with. And so although that was going to take longer, it would have felt more rewarding at the end of the process. I've just realised that I've done a really stupid CPU running out of monies is not going to be helped with a research combo that makes it run out of monies more quickly, as well as using a unit within the research combo that makes it run out of monies more quickly. I have like double conundrum to myself. How short is that recharge time? Oh no, it's even worse than I thought it was. I'm speechless. Skelecat, you honestly ruin lives. That was a flaw in logic. Uh, but let's just get rid of all of that. People are saying bring back Ava 08, so let's put Ava 08 back in. Two spaces to fill. What should we put in there? A unit that can resist freeze? Not many of those. I had Saber in and people told me not to use that, so, you know, it's very picky to say use a unit with resist freeze and then criticise all units with resist freeze. Don't want me to use that. Is a meat shield. Zamboni has been in and out of being a mention. Some people hate the idea, some people love the idea. Angry delinquent cat. Hmm, Mary we've already gotten there. Nobelan, the abilities is apparently not like a thing. And then Wind Dance of Valkyrie. Okay, we've got we've got a decent consensus for AV Unit 01. Sister Act combo. Interesting. Very CPU friendly. So I need to get rid of one of these units. People say get rid of all meat shields. So Manic Lion. I'm hearing a lot of, oh yeah, metal's good, and oh no, metal's bad. So what is it, you know? Metal is bad and good, lol. Yeah, it's like it's Schrodinger's metal cat, isn't it? It's all very well if people are like made videos beating the level. Like, I know the level's possible, but I am not these people. I am myself. This is how individualism works. And it's actually a plot basis for Evangelion. People say that they're more So, man Try again, CPU. Okay, for now, it's doing a heck of a lot better than last time. Thank you for recommending Sister Act. Well-timed Manic Lion there, CPU. See, I told you it does a better job than I do. That felt a lot better. 44%? That is respectable. Okay. Manic Lion out, out, out. Right. Good. 
You mockers, you will see. Try eye patch Asuka. Uh, I assume you've seen the video, DJ. She didn't work massively well. Oh, this is the no meat shield thing, isn't it? No, I get you. Oh, yeah. No, hang on. My bad. She's not in true form. I did true form her, but she's not in true form because I prefer her without an eye patch. Canonically. I'm not talking about in a waifu sort of sense. He's finally listening. Very disingenuous, seeming as that's what I've been doing the whole time. If I haven't listened to you, that doesn't mean I'm not listening. We're going to put that out, and then we'll let the CPU take over so it doesn't spam other stuff and then get stuck saving up. I should be saving up. You go, girls. Kapow! Again, we do not need aggression in the chat, and I will not accept it. Please just be calm. Thank you. What type is he? Metal. Um, he's not metal. He's... he's traitless, but not... oh my god. <laughs> he's traitless, but he's gone. See, aren't you now glad we did this a few times before this now? Because it would have been very boring if I listened to everything everyone said first off. We would have just done it and then there would have been no stream. Shinji and Cat, woo hoo. Where is Shinji Cat? Shinji? 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 Oh, he's in rare, that's why. Shinji? Shinji? He's run away again. Shinji? Ah, there he is. Found him. Evolve. He looks miserable still. That's great. Okay, good. Done. Hurrah! And so, Unit 13 was beaten, granting me not this mission, because that would have got before. But it's a nice note on which to end, isn't it? We've succeeded in all of them, eventually, and hopefully we've all learnt some things along the way. But until the next time, that is it. I will bid you goodbye, and say, I hope you enjoyed. The second gacha roll strikes. Can Reggit be any more successful than he was the last time? Will he ever get anywhere near getting the unit he wants? Or will everything fall apart around him, sending him into another floundering spiral of misery? Part... Oh, we've done loads of these so far. I don't remember what part it is. Tune in next time for cat food. <laughs>